In this session, we're going to take a look at setting up the Stripe Payment Gateway for EDD. Stripe is a payment gateway that was specifically designed to be very easy to set up for developers as well as end users. For this reason, you can find it in a number of applications. And it's a safe bet that if you use Stripe, the software you use will also use it. This is the homepage of Stripe.com. We'll go to pricing real quick, and you can see that they charge 2.9% plus 30 cents per successful charge. All things considered, that's not very much. You can also see here that they take Visa, Master, American Express, Discover, and JCB. Because it's so easy to use for developers, you tend to find Stripe in an awful lot of places, and I highly recommend it. Here's the page for the Stripe Payment Gateway on EasyDigitalDownloads.com. It costs $49 for a single site, $82 for two to five sites, and $123 for unlimited sites. It includes support for the Recurring Payments Extension and the Astoundify Crowdfunding plugin. Something else it does that isn't on this page, but I checked with Pippin and he confirmed with me. It uses Stripe.js as its method for communicating with Stripe. This means that when someone completes a purchase and they click Submit to Pay, they don't actually go to your server to do the payment. Their browser connects directly to Stripe. This means that there are never any transactions occurring on your server. It absolves you of any liability if there are any issues with cards being stolen. Theoretically, you wouldn't even need an SSL certificate, since no one is ever sending you anything sensitive. But honestly, no one will buy from you unless you have one. In order to use this, you must have an account at Stripe.com. Here's mine. I've made one purchase for $10. In the top left here, you can see that I'm in test mode. This means that I can make all the purchases I want, and it won't charge me anything. This is a brand new account that I set up for this testing, and so it's not activated. And by that, I mean I haven't connected it to a bank. So I couldn't switch it to live mode right now, even if I wanted to. But when you're ready to, you simply go into your account, set up your bank account information so that they can send you money, and you're all set. Let's take a look at how it works in WordPress. I previously purchased and downloaded the plugin. And now we should be able to go to Downloads, Settings, and Payment Gateways. And now we have here Stripe is an option. And we can set our default gateway to Stripe. And we'll choose Credit Cards. Skip the PayPal settings. And here under Stripe Settings, we need some key information. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. Under your account, go to account settings. Under the API keys tab, here are the keys you need. So I'm going to grab test secret. Test publishable. Live secret. and Live Publishable. And then here below are a couple of options. If Stripe.js fails, you can process cards on your own server. I would rather have the transaction fail than take on the liability of processing transactions on my own server. And then you can optionally only pre-approve payments as opposed to charging them immediately and then charge them later. I'm going to hit Save Changes. Now let's go look at a product. I'm going to purchase this video for $10 and check out. 
In here it wants my personal information and my credit card information. Now, this is important. Stripe is currently in test mode, so you cannot use real credit card numbers. Instead, we'll go over here to the documentation for Stripe. It's in this little tab here at the top, and then on the left is testing. At the bottom of the testing page are a collection of credit card numbers that you can use in test mode. These numbers are actually created by the credit card companies. We'll take this Visa. You can use any three-digit code with a test and any name and any future date. I have my billing information in here already. I will now purchase. And there we are. Now let's go over to Stripe. I had $10 in here already. Let's check out what happened. And there we are. Now I have $20 and it knows that I'm the same customer as last time. Now when you're ready, all you have to do is click this button. It'll switch to live. It won't work for me because I haven't connected to a bank, but all it does is slide right over. And then in your settings, under general, uncheck test mode. And then you are processing live credit cards with Stripe. This process is very similar with just about every single payment gateway. They'll ask you different questions and they'll give you different API keys and they'll ask you to push different buttons, but in the end, all they want to do is verify that transactions are coming from your site, how much they are. Once you get that worked out, you're all set. That said, if you don't already have a payment gateway, I highly recommend Stripe. They're one of the best processors around.